Well, I'm excited to be the one right after lunch. I'm sure everyone's paying a lot of attention, so this is going to be great. Uh, so again, thanks everyone. I appreciate the opportunity to speak here. So I want to start with a question. How many of you are old enough to remember the original supercomputers and the and the computers that would fill this whole room, right? Yeah, or, yeah, quite a few hands. So, over the last, you know, 60 plus years or so, those computers have really intensified, I'm gonna call it. So, it's taken something the size of this room and now it fits in your pocket and possibly even on the, my watch itself. And with that in mind, you know, over the last 50, 60 years, how things have really compressed. We're looking at doing a similar um, thing with carbon capture. Uh, our company right now is, is investigating and developing an intensification of the carbon capture system, where we're taking the large existing static columns that you use for solvent capture and looking to shrink that into a modular containerized system. And so you're talking about you know, a column that is the diameter of this room and 10 feet tall, and looking at reducing that tenfold. And the way we're going about that is the current static technology requires the solvent just to flow through gravity just down the column, and so it just rains down the column. And what we're doing right now is looking at a rotating packed bed technology which means you take that column and you actually rotate it. And so instead of using gravity, you're using a centrifugal force now for your solvent to flow through the packing. And what this does is it really enhances uh, all the capture mechanisms and it allows you to shrink the size of the column. And so this process intensification is what we're really pushing toward to reduce the price of carbon capture out there in the world right now. So if you look at kind of the first generation capture and you use that as a baseline for cost, the latest iteration has really focused on reduction in operating cost. And we've seen some great operating cost reductions through new solvents, through better heat integration, and we've you know, got the price of carbon down um, over time due to operating. But what we want to do now is push the capital cost. And that has really been very much a barrier for people accepting carbon capture is that initial capital outlay. So the thought is if you can really shrink the equipment and um, reduce the size, shrink the footprint, and shrink the cost, now a lot more companies are going to start looking at carbon capture as something that they want to start implementing. So at the moment, uh, we've gone through our early testing. We've done bench scale work at a couple of universities and proven the concept. And so we've got a good idea on how it works. And right now, we are developing three uh, pilot scale units uh, around the world, one here in the US with, uh, uh, in collaboration with the DOE. And so we're going to the pilot scale level to demonstrate this technology with actual flue gas from a uh, coal-fired boiler down at the NCCC testing facility. And so we expect that to be done later this year. And then we're aggressively moving toward a uh, 10 times size demonstration plant that's going to be mobile and we'll be able to bring it around to different client sites throughout the US and demonstrate the technology and really get some good acceptance and some good data on how it works. And so I just wanted to kind of close by saying, as a company, Carbon Clean Solutions, we've just finished a Series B fundraising, and so we've got some money in the bank to really accelerate this uh, technology and hopefully by next year demonstrate it. But we're always looking for commercial partners and the opportunity to bring this technology forward and test it at certain sites. So if anyone's interested, feel free to talk to me afterwards. Thank you.